tell by the mess on my desk that I've got quite a lot of ideas going on in my head at the moment um, several all at once which then becomes a big jumble um, but I was watching a, uh, a lady called Roxanne Paget on YouTube she's got some brilliant mixed media um, actually it wasn't YouTube it's on Instagram she does little videos and she's been messing about with um, tape using tape in her mixed media um, so I thought I'd have a go at that and also my mind sort of um, takes the idea and then runs with it. I want to try everything I can with it so I wondered if um, she was using acrylic paints on hers and I wondered if then I could print onto it. So this is what I came up with. Um, this, if I go along each and describe what I've done, so this was, a, this is a frog tape, so it's yellow frog tape and this is a stencil that I put on the photocopier, an inkjet photocopier, um, just to see how it would print and if it would dry, which it has. That's a dirty finger rather than ink coming off. Um, so those two were a stencil and then there's some type underneath. Um, that one, uh, that is masking tape. I don't know why I jumped to that one. Um, but that is masking tape and some homemade stamps um, that I'd made using lino and where are they? Didn't have them ready. Um, that I've put onto wood and um, things like that's a rubber, and then I've made that was, is out of light, the actual lino for lino car. I think just extra bits I had left over that I just cut into different shapes and things. I can't find the triangular one that I've used for this at the moment. Um, there's a small triangular shape that I used into a silver stamp pad. There it is. Um, to do the small triangles. That kind of reminds me a bit of an 80s design, that one. Perhaps I should hold it up. You see the shiny patterns. So these were the same. This was stamps. So the red twirly one is a, a stamp into the acrylic paint. Um, Again, the black triangles were a stamp pad, so you can use acrylic or stamp pads or, you know, whatever you've got really, because I think these quite absorbent tapes will dry and um, are quite useful. This one is another frog tape that I I did everything on. I stamped on it. I used oil pastel. That uh, takes a, a little while to dry because the the did I say ink pastel? The oil pastel can rub off immediately if you've done it. The red is oil pastel as well. But again, just random marks that I've made and, and just messed about. Now the shiny, you can see shiny at, at the ends here. Uh, this was um, stamping acrylic um, using my stamps onto sellotape. So that's, those are my ideas. Obviously, you know, you can use color, black and white printed on them. Um, Posca, um, I forgot to mention, the background is just one of my gel plate prints that wasn't great um, but when you put it through the printer you need to put it onto something that will come off quite easily without sticking actually that hasn't stuck on there too bad so that could actually probably go through the printer with that stuck on there you know you don't want to stick it to a paper that you then can't get the tape off of um, I'm able to fix them up cheaply it's amazing what you find at car boots I mean, in a way, if you're into washi tape, so sort of card making and, and that sort of thing, I mean, this would be a way to get to make your own handmade rather than shop printed. Okay, well, that looks. Um, I've always had in my mind that my art would be um, layered, lots of different layers, different techniques, and make people, people wonder how I've made the art. That's what the sort of art I like. When I look at it and I think, I'm not quite sure how they've done that. Um, and there's more to it. As you look at it, there's more. So I'll just get on with uh, copying, photocopying this onto here and I'll show you what results I get. <laughs>
investigate what's happening with my prison. Masking tape and frog tape. Frog tape's quite pricey, but you might again. I'm sure I'll be able to then re-stick that onto a piece of paper. Okay, that's it for this video. I think I've gone on quite a lot. See you next time for the image transfer with the um, stations.